if you didn't know, Kat Von D is a famous tattoo artist. She also has a big cosmetics company. And last year, she announced that she was renouncing witchcraft, getting rid of her tarot cards and all of these occult imagery that she owned. And this year, she's posted a video of her getting baptized. She's converted to Christianity. There's and a $20 one there from Baron of Grey Matter. Um, it said, if your unions were good, they wouldn't attack right to work laws and want to require anyone in their industry to be in the union or be ostracized. Unions are parasites, teachers unions at all. Yeah, nobody yeah. likes the teachers unions. No, yeah. So so Kat Von D is going through her own version of... Um, it's exactly like Black China. Yeah. Um, Black China also publicly got baptized and started going by her real name. Um, she's going through some financial hardships right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know really what's going on there. She's having to sell off all her clothes and shoes mm -hmm. for legal bills. Yeah. Because she wants custody. She's trying to get back custody of her kids. But I saw that Kat Von D was actually getting a fair amount of criticism for <coughs> becoming Christian. Um, just because people see it as hypocritical or a way to repair her reputation after she's had some controversies. Um, I mean, where in what world do people think that that's going to get you away from controversy today that's insane. no uh, of course not yeah they they if they think that becoming christian is in any way like a, a way to get people back on your side in public opinion like you're just divorced from reality but um i really applaud that she posted this publicly anyway what she's gotten hate for mainly is that um, she has expressed skepticism of vaccines. And I believe from some things she said that she's maybe a covert conservative or at the very least um, an openly more of a, an independent libertarian type of person. She previously posted about Jordan Peterson and how she she's bonded over Jordan Peterson with her now husband before they got married she's went to one of one of his lectures I'm, and posted about it i'm working on like a formula of like certain people you can see if, if like it's like a it's like you have to put a, an amalgamation of three or four people together if they follow two of those one of them four, is joe rogan one of them is joe rogan one of them is jordan peterson uh theo vaughn is on the like i wouldn't Maybe. put ryan i wouldn't put ryan long on the list i think he he more appeals right leaning to most people but i think jordan pete if, if they have jordan peterson if they have joe rogan if they have uh, a couple of these other people that like you could be like you can at least assume i think fairly that they're mm -hmm. going to be more open-minded than the average than the average person right just because they're willing to hear like if they especially if they don't agree with them that's even better right like that's yeah. even better that means you're willing to actively interact with ideas that you don't necessarily like and jordan peterson when you get away from the the hyper politicization that's come from the people around him in recent years his ideas were never all that inherently political until the last couple of years and that's different than the basic stuff that came out of his books yeah sure uh, let's show the video yep. of her getting baptized. Okay, here we go. There's a comment so, here from Gothic says, I remember seeing yeah. your photo when you posted a while back when you threw out your tarot cards and witchcraft books and thinking to myself, hmm, I also did that. I've been uh, a longtime fan and can't begin to express how I how happy I am for you. Welcome to the family. Well, we're big Gothics fans here at Pop Culture Crisis. Yeah, we were talking we to her about the same exact thing. Yeah. And the reason why this is uh, particularly surprising for Kat Von D is because 
her aesthetic for as long as she's been a public figure has been very um edgy she she has still visible pagan tattoos she has pentagrams on her fingers and her wedding was a spectacle to say the least i mean she was wearing like devil horns on her head the entire theme of the wedding looked like it took place in hell um and her her wedding dress was like bright red everything is this was red. man that she's with now the same person that she's in church with yes that's, yes that's awesome yeah, so it looks like they've both converted to Christianity together. Um, and uh, I wanted to read from her post last year where she was talking about getting rid of her tarot cards and stuff like that. She said, I don't know if any of you have been going through changes in your lives right now, but in the last few years, I've come to some pretty meaningful realizations, many of them revolving around the fact that I got a lot of things wrong in my past. Today, I went through my entire library and threw out books that just don't align with who I am and who I want to be. I've always found beauty in the macabre, but at this point, I just had to ask myself, what is my relationship with this content? And the truth is, I just don't want to invite any of these things into our family's lives, yeah. even if it comes disguised in beautiful covers collecting dust on my shelves. In no way is this post designed to put anyone down if you're into this stuff because I think we're all on our own journey and I love everyone regardless of where they might be at. But right now it's never been more clear to me that there is a spiritual battle taking place and I want to surround myself and my family with love and light. With that being said, I want to send extra love to everyone out there and hope through some of these trying times you make meaningful changes in your lives too. I like the idea that like she opens like the like a book of the occult it's like Necromonicon and it, like it morphs into like a live laugh love poster. <laughs> And she's becomes, becoming like, she's entering into Christian girl autumn like like it pans <laughs> up and it's just a Hobby Lobby sign right above her and, uh, and and a pumpkin spice latte just appears in her hand where the blood where the she was drinking blood yes. and it becomes the body of a pumpkin spice latte yes <laughs> Kat Von D is going to as a Christian woman enjoy Christian girl autumn as anyone should the internet browser <laughs> automatically opens up to Evie magazine yeah and uh but and, I just saw a lot of snarky comments you went, about any, this that were saying oh Oh, I guess we're all just gonna forget that she's a Nazi now. Uh, that's or that's really rich coming from her. Because and, she's a Nazi. I mean, about her political views, about you know, just the fact that her past isn't a Christian past. But people can't change in can't 2023. Ch like you will get torn apart for trying to change in any way that's why i think a lot of times externalizing a lot of this stuff ends up being pointless because it adds needless battles that you don't need to fight right like especially especially if you decide to engage with the people that are that are fighting with you about it right so she felt she feels strongly about this change she's made in her life and in in today's day and age when you feel strongly about something that's happened to you you tend to share it with the world on social media but the problem is anytime you remove yourself from one element and you and you move on to another, you're going to get especially stuff like this, right? You're going to get people that are going to push back on you and she's going to have to steal herself for those types of battles because a lot of the people that don't want to see people change or don't want to see people evolve because they feel like perhaps it shines a light back on them that they're not uh, happy with or they feel judged, even if they don't have a reason to feel judged. Even if it's somebody like me is like, look, I'm not going to judge you because of uh, because you follow the occult. That doesn't matter to me but they might feel a little bit judged because this person is making a change in her life and even though she said in her statement she said look i'm not passing judgment on you a lot of times to people that still comes off as if you're passing judgment on them even if you actually don't mean that and the reason why they're all you know harping on the fact that she's a hypocrite for becoming christian uh and i mean that fundamentally misunderstands christianity as a religion right like it's it's centered around forgiveness um they're they're harping on it because they they think that someone having a standard at all for themselves that they may fall short of is hypocritical and it's judgmental. actually hypocritical to have a different standard for yourself than you hold other people to okay like even having if, a standard you, at all have a higher is, standard is for yourself now do you think that's true? Like, if you have a higher, if you hold yourself to a higher standard than you hold other people, is that hypocritical? I mean, I think it's mainly about holding other people to yeah. a standard that, that you're you not don't willing to. Yeah, I think as accept. long as it's yeah. even, you can hold yourself to higher. But as long as you know, yeah. But like the whole point of Christianity and 
just like trying to better yourself in general is that you have a standard and you know that you're going to fall short of it. It's crazy. And you admit that. And, uh, and it really is like it's it, choosing out of all things to evolve into at this stage in her life. It's not like it's going to make her life easier to move on to a, a life as a, as a Christian woman, right? She's what if be, she came in and said, like, I'm, I'm converting to Islam now. And they would, she they posts would, all of her pictures in burqas and posts about her, her religion now that she's Muslim. Would they have the nerve to say anything then? I think some people would, uh, like, uh, the ones who are, like, literally so off the rocker, they're going to be like, your my religion is not your costume or something like that. You'll, you get a couple of people who said something like that, but I don't think for the most part, you're right, that, the, that you would not be held to that same standard because there is a particular disdain for Christianity here these days in the West when it comes from the media. And mm -hmm. from the people, you know, that are influenced by it. So it's uh, it's a crazy thing to think about because you'd uh, you'd imagine that a country that was founded on the idea of religious tolerance would would be more open to that. But we've just never seen that in society. Not not these days. Um, well, uh, Jeffree Star has gotten hate, too. That was the first thing I thought lifestyle of. Lifestyle right? changes like they they actually come from a similar circle of yeah. public figures like they're both alternative people oh you know all people Wait, when is marilyn manson gonna go through his uh christian guy autumn <laughs> that's what i want yeah there's a 20 dollars one right there uh i don't see it here oh it's from derek uh fanabecker says uh when you witness enough evil i'm assuming you hit a fork in the road i'm super glad it's becoming a thing for people like cat to take the positive option regardless of what you believe the battle of good and evil is real and didn't also um uh black china also convert to christianity yeah, yeah, so, and that was at the same time that she was reversing all yeah. of her plastic surgery, and, yeah. getting all of this silicone taken out of her face and out of her body. Um, I don't know if she had, like, a similar backlash. I mean, I guess people threw the fact that she was, you know, doing OnlyFans before in her face. Yeah, but you can be redeemed. I mean, the, the, the thing about, like... Uh, facing the choice to change or not it means like if you don't change and you can sit you continue doing all of this degenerate stuff like like only fans or whatever you don't have anybody um expecting anything of you like it's safer to to stay doing what you're known for yeah. rather than have anyone expect something different especially if you're a famous person because then it's not just like changing your life it's a rebrand <laughs> It's like it's hard enough for people to make those types of changes when they're just a regular guy mm -hmm. or a regular gal. It's a completely different if you've got a brand central, you know, centralized around your image. Now you've got a she's like, oh, my God, I got to do all new merch. I got to do all new this. I got to do all new that. Like uh, the pentagram's got to go. What if my what if her logo has something yeah. to do with the pentagram? She's like, now I got to make uh, cross logos. What am I going to do? I was just watching um, an episode of Pints with Aquinas where he interviewed a former Satanist. And uh, he said that he wasn't just, you know, a secular Satanist. Like, if you look at the Church of Satan, they just say, we're atheists who believe in religious tolerance and we dislike Christianity. But this guy was saying he was a Satanist in, like, the, f the formal sense of the word. Like, he did, um, like, I guess that means he was, like, a, a theological Satanist. Satanist. Like, he believes in God but worships Satan. Like, he believes that both of these entities do exist. Um, and I think maybe for Kat Von D, when she just has an Aleister Crowley book in her library that she's never read and just kind of has it for the aesthetic of it, yeah. she wasn't attached to it in the first place. But still, having that stuff in your life and in your vicinity all the time and you have kids, it, it's not meaningless. Like, having that kind of energy around you definitely invites evil into your life. Who do you think will be, uh, imagine we one day we'll end up getting a Doja Cat uh, turn around and she'll go Christian. Or I don't maybe, know. Or maybe her and Sam Smith can both do that. If Kat Von D can do it, anyone can. Like if Sam Smith comes around and he's like, look, maybe Fat Satan wasn't my best alter ego. Maybe I should go <laughs> back to 
to to fat Jesus lover. Skinny cherub. Sk- there you go. Yeah. That's, that's that'd be good, right? Yeah. And uh, and it like especially for music artists, it's hard, right? Because they're like the last thing they want to be thought of is like a Christian music artist. Because it just it's like they're like look. Creed well, you're not 20- allowed to be a Christian and make any art without it being considered Christian art these days. Exactly. Yeah. Like you can't be a Christian filmmaker that just <laughs> makes films without them being labeled faith based to discredit you. Yeah. Yeah, you you get pigeonholed in automatically, right? Right. Like, a lot, and that happens to a lot. I mean, even actors end up getting put in that category, even if it has nothing to do with their with their profession. A couple of them have managed to stay out of it, but uh, the ones who are open about their faith end up doing a lot of faith based films because it's uh, how they get consistent work. Maybe that's why Chris Pratt felt the pressure to distance himself yeah. from Possibly. his faith, saying, you know. I, I'm, I'm religious, but I'm not like, you know, all those other crazy Christians. I'm not a Jesus freak or anything. Neil McDonough has... It's just con- a casual thing for me. Neil McDonough has, consi- has, co- has managed to continue to get consistent work for the last 20 years, despite the fact that he won't even do sex scenes with women because uh, he's married. He's like, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to besmirch my wife's honor in such a way, which is amazing. Would have been easier to avoid that in the days of network television, but now that everything is streaming, yeah, every show has to have sex scenes in the pilot. Yep. In like the first 10 minutes. I mean, even back then they would do just PG sex scenes where they're like uncomfortably under the covers and the covers are getting in the way. I'm like, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like the, he wouldn't do that. You know, he's not going to lay in a bed with another woman. <laughs> So yeah, good for him. Uh, so some can still can 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 continue to still work, but for her, good for her, right? Like, good for her to have that. It'll be now. One of the things that's interesting about it is, if you made this change with your husband, the hope is that if say the it, that doesn't work out or something happens, that you don't your faith is not shaken by that because you make that big of a change together. Um, mm-hmm. You know. I think Jordan Peterson might be a big part of that, even though he himself um, hasn't officially aligned himself with any particular he's Christian like the, denomination. You know is? He's like a first round draft pick and he's just yeah. waiting for the right religion to court him into their... His, and that's, <laughs> that makes it even worse because then everyone wants you on, on their Everyone, team. like, look... Look, right. the, like uh, the church, like uh, one of the like a synagogue is sending out their best reps. The Catholic Church is sending mm-hmm. out their best free, eight, you know, their best reps. They're like, look, we've got you. Like, we're gonna get you spots on television. You're gonna be <laughs> sitting in with Billy Graham. Is Billy Graham still around? I have no idea. Is Billy Graham? Isn't he dead? Is he dead? He's, he's dead, right? The point is, he's like, we're gonna get you in with Joel Osteen, right? <laughs> Oste- like, was like, we're gonna get you front row on the Christian television network. It's gonna be great. And every religion is now coming for Jordan Peterson because they they need him on. On their team mm-hmm. it's like fantasy fantasy reli- religious fantasy booking well everyone hating on kat von d right now cope and seeth thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys